is asking us, how do you find the square root of 17? So in this case, again, what we want to do here is we we want to first check if it's a perfect square. Um, and in this case, we know it is not a perfect square because 17 is a prime number. So if I take the root, square root of 17 here, again, the square root sign, um, and 17 inside of it, we know that this here is not a perfect square because 17 here is a prime number. So therefore, we cannot use the guess and check method. We must use the long division method. <clears throat> But let's solve for this. So we have to use long division. So put 17 in the inside. So again, two numbers squared closest to 17. I'd pick 4 because 4 squared is 16, right? So we have 4. 4 here. <clears throat> 4 squared is 16. Subtract both sides. 17 minus 16 is 1. I can add two zeros to this guy here. And then what I can do is I can double this 4. And this comes out, right? Now I have to find what value should I put here to be closest to 100. So 80, 80, 80 times 0 is 0, but 81 times 1 is equal to 81. 82 times 2 is 164, so that goes over 100, so I'm, this value must be a 1. And again, I have a decimal here. 81 times 1 will give me 81. So we have 100 minus 81, which equals 19. Add another two zeros. I can double this number now. <clears throat> 81, I double this number, so 1 time 1 plus 1 is 2, so 82, and then I have to put, I have to find out another value here. So what would go in this blank? Well, um, 82 times 1 is 821. 82 times 2 would give me 1644, which I believe is the closest to 1900. So this value must be a 2. So this is 1644. Subtract those guys, I would get 266. Or sorry, 256. And again, I would usually stop there because I usually take these guys to the two decimal places. This solution is actually really nice because it actually gave us a little bit more, but um, I usually take it to two decimal places. So therefore, I can say the square root of 17. So I can say, therefore, uh, square root of 17 is approximately equal to plus or minus 4.71. For, sorry, 4.12, not 7.1, 4.12 here. And this here is our, is our solution for this problem. And again, they got 4.1231, which is our correct solution as well. So this solution is correct, but I don't think they actually gave us a concluding statement. So I'm just, I'm just going to write, write it out for them. It's correct. The square root of 17 is approximately plus or minus 4.12. So the solution here is correct.